Greetings, planetary citizens. I'm Michael Rick Fendel, and today's quote comes from the 20th century American poet Eve Merriam. She was also a playwright, director, and lecturer. Her quote is from the entirety of her very brief poem, Fantasia. I dream of giving birth to a child who will ask, Mother, what was war? Well, unfortunately, war is all too easy to define by those who have participated in it, both soldiers and civilians. Now, the concept of peace is much, much harder to define but to find it, we must, and more importantly, we must put it into practice. The history of the peace symbol is very interesting. These are, this is superimposed semaphore signals for the letters ND, which is for nuclear disarmament, which is how the peace symbol came into being in the 1950s in the nuclear disarmament movement. Of course, it still means that today, but it means much more in virtually every country. Yes, every country on our planet. It's what we all strive for, and more importantly, what we must put into practice. War has become obsolete. And in that spirit, I would like to play for you Swords into Plowshares, containing the very famous quote that was so important it was mentioned twice, both in the book of Micah and in the book of Isaiah. Swords into Plowshares. what to do it's so synthetic to be apathetic it's time to make these words come true no matter who we are from the poor to the brave not tomorrow but today words from Micah and Isaiah. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn
your voice and pen are mightier than the sword. Your voice and pen must spread the word. We work for justice to prevail. No stone unturned, no song unsung. Dismantle nuclear power and weapons forever. Sing these words in every tongue. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not live. Shall not lift up sword again.